solution of question number 33 in this question we have a sequence a and of real numbers and then we have to check the given options now here in the uh, here option b is b is correct because we know if the modulo series is convergent then series then square series is also convergent that is if summation mod of a n is convergent so that must be implies summation a n square is convergent so b option is correct now we will uh, check uh, for the option a c and d okay now for the now in the option a we have if summation a n is convergent that is a n series convergent then does series uh, a n to the power 4 is convergent no this is incorrect statement because if we take a n equal to minus 1 raised to n upon n raised to 1 upon 4 then our series summation minus 1 raised to n upon n raised to 1 upon 4 is convergent because it's an alternating series so by the Leibniz test this series is convergent but when we take this nth term to the power 4 that is summation a n to the power 4 then we have series 1 by n which is clearly divergent so here our option a is not true now for the option c in the option c we have if a n series is divergent then the series a n to the power 3 is also divergent this statement is also incorrect because we have example if we take a n series as 1 by n then this series is divergent and when we take uh, its uh, cube that is summation a n to the power 3 then we have summation 1 upon n raised to 3 which is clearly convergent series not divergent so here our option c is not also not true now in the option d we have if summation mode of a n is divergent that is modulo series is divergent then uh, series a n square is also divergent but this is also incorrect because if we take a n equal to minus 1 raise to n upon n then our modulo series mode of summation mode of a n is equal to summation 1 by n which is divergent but when we take a square series that is summation a n square then we have summation 1 by n square which is which is convergent so our option d is also not true so here we have b option is only true and a c d are not true and these are our correct options solution of question number 45 in this question we will find the given limit limit as n tending to infinity of 1 upon n cube plus 1 plus 4 upon n cube plus 1 plus 9 upon n cube plus 1 plus like that plus n square upon n cube plus 1 okay now when we observe these nth product of nth term no, sorry sum of nth term then we have 1 upon n cube plus 1 is common so this term we can write as limit n tending to infinity 1 upon n cube plus 1 time 1 plus 2 square plus 3 square till plus n square now we know the sum of n terms as 1 plus 2 square plus 3 square till n square is equal to n into n plus 1 plus time 2n plus 1 divided by 6 that is our limit is nothing but limit n tending to infinity n into n plus 1 time 2n plus 1 divided by 6 time n cube plus 1 now take n common in the numerator and denominator then we have limit n tending to infinity 2n cube time 1 plus 1 by n time 1 plus 1 upon 2n divided by n cube time 6 time <coughs> 1 plus 1 by n cube now n cube to n cube cancel and when n tending to infinity then we have our limit value is 1 by 3 that is 0 0.33 so here our answer is 0 0.33 Solution of question number 46. In this question, we have VB the factor space of all the real polynomials with degree less than and equal to 3. And TB a linear transformation from V to V defined by TF equal to F plus F dash plus F double dash. Okay. Now here we, uh, we will find the degree of minimal polynomial of T. Okay. Now to evaluate the minimal polynomial, firstly we will we have to find the characteristics polynomial of T. Now to evaluate the characteristic polynomial, firstly we will find the matrix representation of T with respect to standard basis of V. Now we know standard basis of V 
is one x x square and x cube. Okay. Okay. Now we will we will find matrix representation of T with respect to these standard bases. So to find this such matrix, firstly operate T on these basis vectors. That is uh, okay. And then whatever we will get vectors write down that vectors as a linear combination of basis vectors okay so now operate t on one then we have one so one can be written as one dot one plus zero dot x plus zero dot x square plus zero dot x cube now operate t on x then we have x plus one this can be written as one dot one plus one dot x plus zero dot x square plus zero dot x cube now operate t on x square then we have x square plus 2x plus 2 and this can be written as 2 dot 1 plus 2 dot x plus 1 dot x square plus 0 dot x cube and the last operate t on x cube then we have x cube plus 3x square plus 6x and this can be written as 0 dot 1 plus 6 dot x plus 3 dot x square plus 1 dot x cube okay now the matrix representation of t is nothing but column wise 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 2 2 1 0 0 6 3 1 okay now when we observe this matrix that is matrix of t then it's a upper triangular matrix so its characteristics polynomial is given by x minus 1 to the 4 x minus 1 to the power 4 is equal to 0 okay now here degree of characteristic polynomial is 4 so degree of minimal polynomial is less than or equal to 4 now we know minimal polynomial is the least degree polynomial that divides characteristics polynomial and uh, and has each factor uh, in fact uh, actually uh, we know lambda be the eigenvalue of t if and only if lambda be the root of its characteristics polynomial uh, sorry its minimal polynomial and here characteristics polynomial of t is x minus 1 to the power 4 so the possible well and in fact all the eigenvalue of t is 1 that is t has repeated eigenvalues as 1 4 times so here choices for minimal polynomials uh, are x minus 1 to the power 4 x minus 1 to the power 3 x minus 1 to the power 2 and x minus 1 so among these four choices minimal polynomial with the least degree polynomial such that matrix t be the root of that polynomial okay now here by the Kelly's Hamilton theorem we know uh, x uh, we know uh, uh, every matrix is the root of characteristics polynomial so clearly we have a minus identity to the power 4 equal to null matrix okay now check for x minus 1 to the whole square so for this we will take a minus identity to the whole square so when we compute this matrix then it's not a null matrix so that will imply x minus 1 to the whole square not a minimal polynomial now take x minus uh, now take x minus 1 to the cube so for this will take a minus identity to the power 3 then when we compute this matrix then also we have it's not a null matrix so this is also implies x minus 1 to the power 3 not a minimal polynomial and clearly x minus 1 cannot be the minimal polynomial because a minus identity cannot be the null matrix so here the choices for choice for minimal polynomial is only is only x minus 1 to the power 4 that is characteristics polynomial and minimal polynomial both are same so degree of minimal polynomial is 4